Hey everybody, welcome to day 14 of my non-alcoholic beer and gin review series. Uh, this is also known as My Dry January, so it was my New Year's resolution not to drink any alcoholic beverages for the whole month of January, and instead what I'm doing is reviewing a new uh, non-alcoholic beer or gin for the whole month. And there's lots of reasons why you might choose to drink a little bit less. Um, the new non-alcoholic craft beers are an amazing a tool to help you do that. Today marks day 14, two weeks for me with uh, nothing to drink, which to me is an accomplishment. Maybe it's not to you if you don't drink much normally anyways. Um, I have really found that these have helped a lot uh, if I have any cravings or even just because then, you know, each day at the end of the day, I still get to enjoy a beer. <clears throat> so today I thought we would try something a little bit different. So uh, this is Red Racer's Street Legal IPA, the old packaging and the new packaging. So when they changed to this new packaging, I thought something tasted a little different to me, but I couldn't tell because I didn't have any of the old stuff. And then I happened to find an old one. So I just want to compare and contrast just for the heck of it. So for starters, this is a 500 mil can. This is a 470 three mil can, so we got a little bit of shrinkflation going on. Uh, Street Legal, by the way, is Central City Brewing out of Surrey, BC. Um, the other thing which I noticed is different, and that's probably where I'm noticing the difference in the flavor profile, is the ingredients list. So on the ingredients of the Street Legal, I use a lovely white writing on this green can, we have water, malted barley, hops, yeast, ascorbic acid, and potassium sorbate. Those last, uh, well, the last one for sure anyways, is just a preservative. Now on the new packaging, we have water, malted barley, hops, yeast, ascorbic acid, and wheat. So there is, to me, a distinctive difference in flavor, or I thought there was. Now I'm gonna get to find out because I've got both side by side. Calories wise, they are uh, 110 for a 500 mil can or 80 for a 473 mil can. Now that's a significant difference in calories and there's not that much difference in the size of the can. So the new one is less in calories and maybe that's important to you. Um, yeah, uh, hops wise, of course, I could only find information on their website for the new one. I have no idea what the old one. So uh, it's listed as 40 IBU. Uh, the malts are Canada Pale Ale, Munich, and the Caribbean, uh, and the hops it lists only Mosaic. All right, so we're going to pour them both at the same time and test them up head to head and see what we think of the two. So uh, let's pour the old one first. Nice head on that, off white to almost golden beige. Um, bigger bubbles around the outside, holding not too bad in the middle. Newer one, a much finer bubble. Doesn't have as much of that coarseness around the outside. Yeah, you can see it's holding a little bit longer. Color wise, I would say the newer one is just slightly paler. Okay, so we're going to start with the older one, and we're going to start with a bit of a nose on it. Still got a little bit in the can, because this is a bigger can, obviously. You can really see the difference in the this head is still holding a little bit, whereas this is pretty much completely gone. That has a nice hoppy nose. A little bit of citrus. Yeah, so nice hops, citrus on the nose. Um, I'll compare the nose on the newer one.
Yeah, a little bit of fruit in that one. A lot less hops on the nose, a little bit of maltiness, a little bit of caramel sort of maltiness on the nose, and a tiny bit of some sort of tropical fruit, but I'm not... Eh, maybe not. Definitely not as much hops, but definitely a little more malt. Yeah, as that one sits, I get a little more uh, pine resin. The hops is definitely more pronounced in that one. Uh, let's go in for the taste. So, the original. Some nice multi notes, caramel. Get that pine, a little bit of hops. Not, not as strong as I seem to recall it in my memory. And there's a slight bit of sourness of some sort. Now again, we might have that thing that this is, you know, it's an older product compared to a fresh product, but um, okay, I'm going for the taste on the new version. A little bit of a thinner mouthfeel. Um, not pulling out um, much in the way of hops. Little bit of malt. Um, <clears throat> very thin mouthfeel. A little bit of fruit just on the finish there. Um, pineapple, I would say. has a much fuller body on the original. Um, way more malt notes, almost even, no, nah, I wouldn't say, but. Yeah, nutty, caramelly, uh, almost like a pale ale, but not quite. Uh, the hops aren't as pronounced as I seem to remember them being. I used, to, like when I first tried this, mind you, when I first tried this, this was one of the first um, decent, non-alcoholic beers I'd ever had. Before that, you know, you had things like O'Doul's or Molson Excel or whatever, you know, uh, stuff that was out there. It was all terrible plonk. You couldn't even bother with it. And then I tried this and I was like, wow, okay. So this is getting closer to beer. It's got some actual attitude and flavor and some hops, um, you know, but over time, things also change. I think craft beers have become more hoppy and then they became more fruity and, juicy and things like that and you see that in a lot of the newer non-alcoholic beers that I've got on uh, my list to try now. And, and color wise is definitely slightly more amber on this one. Not, not a huge difference. Yeah, just really very thin and not as much character to that one at all. So, <clears throat> rating wise, I'm going to give the old one, which you can't get anymore, of course, an 8.2. Give the newer version an 8, which is still, you know, quite reasonable scores. Um, I would still enjoy either one of them, of course. Well, not this one. This is the last can that I have. I don't know if anybody else has any. Um, so, that was day 14, two weeks of this whole thing. Um, we've obviously got another 16, 17, whatever days to go. Um, and we're going to try and get a tasting in with some friends, um, where we do all of the sort of stouts and dark beers together. Maybe that's kind of what I'm planning, but I'm having a hard time lining people up. Anyways, we will see you tomorrow for...
day 15. Thanks very much for watching, and uh, yeah, cheers, enjoy yourself a beer.